Universal Center for Renovation presents the Afro-American and Latino Portuguese Jews in the Americas from 1492 to the present, chapter two. Like all obvious things, sometimes a huge secret is hidden plainly out in the open. The second chapter is entitled An Open Secret, the Western Sephardic Origin of the Afro-American and Latinos of the Americas. An open secret is something that is widely known, although it is not supposed to be. An open secret is something that is supposed to be known only by a few people, but is known in fact to a great many people. In the first video, I shared this image of three women and the idea or assertion that these three women had a common origin. The title of the video was called Western Sephardim Atlantic Creoles, the Afro-American and Latino Portuguese Jews in the Americas from 1492 to the present. This illustration is the perfect example of two celebrities who are out in the open and proud of their Sephardic heritage. We all benefit from this type of information being shared. So let's take a closer look at this history. If you haven't already guessed, one of the ladies is named Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Let's take a look at her story. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, also known by her initials, AOC, is an American politician serving as the U.S. representative for New York's 14th Congressional District. The district includes the eastern part of the Bronx, portions of North Central Queens, and Rikers Island in New York City. She is a member of the Democratic Party. Her father was born in the Bronx to a Puerto Rican family and became an architect. Her mother was born in Puerto Rico. In her personal life, she has said to be Puerto Rican is to be descendants of African Moors and slaves, Taino Indians, Spanish colonizers, Jewish refugees, and likely others. We are all of these things and something else all at once. We are Barica. At a December 2018 Hanukkah celebration in New York, she stated that she may have some Sephardic Jewish ancestry, although she does not practice Judaism. According to a Washington Post article, Alexandria Casio Cortez reveals Jewish ancestry at Hanukkah celebration. A temple in Queens got a small dose of surprise on Sunday, the final night of Hanukkah, when Rep. Elect Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, a New York Democrat with a knack for dramatic flourish, told those gathered to light the menorah that her ancestors or Jewish. One of the things that we discovered about ourselves is that a very, very long time ago, generations and generations ago, my family consisted of Sephardic Jews. Ocasio Cortez said, these are Jews who settled in the Middle East, North Africa and Southern Europe after the Jewish diaspora. They were expelled from Spain in 1492. HaArets.com uploaded a YouTube video with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez revealing her Jewish heritage at a Hanukkah event. I'm not going to play the video, but I'm going to show clips of the video. This is the first clip. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez revealed her Jewish heritage at a Hanukkah event. 
Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez then begins to give a short speech of her family personal history and of the history of the citizens of the island of Puerto Rico. One of the things a lot of people don't know about Puerto Rico and something we discovered about ourselves is that a very long time ago, generations ago, my family consisted of Sephardic Jews. The story goes that during the Spanish Inquisition, so many people were forced to convert on the exterior to Catholicism. But on the interior, continued to practice their faith, continued to be who they were, even though they were pressured not to be that on the outside world. And a strong group of people, strong willed, that were determined to continue living life as they wanted to live it, decided to get on a boat and leave Spain. Some of these people ended up in Puerto Rico. She then sang a Hanukkah song in Ladino, the language spoken by Sephardic Jews. The YouTube video ended with Happy Hanukkah, Alexandria. Now that we are back to the original image, I'd like to say Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said a lot in a few words. I would like to go back and review that and the statements that she said a little later, but let's move on to the next woman in the picture. And if you haven't already guessed, this is a picture of Jada Pickett Smith. So once again, we're going to open source information. And here we are looking at a Wikipedia article about Jada Pickett Smith. Jada Corin Pickett Smith is an American actress, screenwriter, producer, talk show host, businesswoman, and an occasional singer, songwriter. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, Jada Pickett Smith was named after her mother's favorite soap opera actress, Jada Rowland. Pickett Smith is of Jamaican and Barbadian descent. On her mother's side, an African-American descent on her father's side. Now we're gonna look at this article. Ethnicity of celebs. What nationality, ancestry, race? Jada Pickett Smith. At this point, I'm trying to make this as brief as possible because I'm going to come back and make commentary on these articles. So if we continue with the article, ethnicity, father, African American, mother, African Creole, Barbadian, African Creole, Jamaican. An article in the New York Times syndicate stated that Jada also has some degree of Portuguese Jewish ancestry. It is not clear if this ancestry has been verified, documented. Many people of Afro-Caribbean descent do have a small amount of Sephardi Jewish ancestry. So now that we're back at the original image, let's take a look at the painting of the woman in the background and find out who she is. The painting is called Creole in a Red Turban by Jacques Guillaume Lucien Amans. We're gonna find out more information on this woman, this painting named Creole in a Red Turban 
from slave mothers and southern bells to radical reformers and lost cause ladies. Creole in a red headdress. Turning her face to meet her viewer's gaze, Jacques Luzon Amans sitter in Creole in a red headdress softly smiles. Jacques Guillaume Luzon Amans Creole in a red headdress circa 1840 New Orleans. She wears a brown skirt red headdress and a white long sleeve off the shoulder peasant blouse. The profusion of her exposed tan skin adding an air of coquettish sensuality to the painting. The portrayal of this young mixed race woman visually entices viewers as the bright red hue of her headdress enhances the smooth texture of her cafe olette skin tone while many of the details behind the compelling image remains a mystery, the sitter's alluring unbroken gaze renders her as a subject of much intrigue and speculation. The painting becomes perhaps one of the most illustrious and enigmatic works of antebellum New Orleans. <laughs>